The story you are about to see is true. Names have been changed to seem cooler on the internet. Dun dun. Happy Friday. See, you have to understand, I was sick. I was in the bed. Marsha tells him to make a mess, and then she lets it sit there for a day or two, knowing that I'm sick. They knew I was sick in bed. Let it sit there for a while. They come in, snap the pics. She come, She she told Lyella to make the mess. Lyella makes the mess. Then I get sick. They all go to mom's house. The mess gets worse. That is exactly what happened. It was a total fucking setup done to me while I was sick in bed in that very in that very bed right there with the shakes. I had the shakes real bad. Rotting food on the floor. I mean, you said it was just a small area of the entire room. It is. But there was rotten food on the floor. What if Dude, I was in bed was sick. When you listen, listen. It has been fucking hot as hell. It has been in the 80s and 90s. The time frame of the event in question, as will be proven in later evidence, was between February 10th and February 24th. Do you know what happens in extreme heat to fruit? Do you have any idea? It rots fast. Within days. Not weeks. Not months. <clears throat> They're sitting there trying to say that food was in there for months. No, it was only in there a few days because the heat was oh, rotting it. That's fruit left it's all it takes. laying around for days. Uh, dude, what part of I'm in the bed sick do you not understand? What part of that are you not getting? What part of grow a set? You're a father. Get up and take care of them. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm in, the bed with, I'm, the, I'm in the bed shaking. I can't even get out of bed. I can't even get out of bed. If I could have got out of bed, it would have been different. But I couldn't even get out of bed. A minute, weren't, weren't you doing live hangouts during the time that you were supposedly in bed and couldn't get out? No. Outstanding fucking question, Bran. That, my friend, is the $10,000 question. And we'll get to that later. No. No, I was not. Now, did I do one prior to it? Yes. Did I do one after it? Yes. But did I do one while I was in bed sick? No. No, I did not. Sorry. No, I did not. I know they floated that idea, but sorry, the timeline doesn't match up. Just don't match up. Sorry. I have no choice because I've got too many fucking dickless wonders in the goddamn outside chat saying it, this shit's my fault when it wasn't my fault. I am totally 100% innocent. Okay, folks, now that we have heard him profess his innocence, we have also heard him claim how it was 80 to 90 degrees last month in July. However, he fails to mention that the event in question happened again between February 10th and February 24th of this year. And this following video is, of course, the day, the day, that he allegedly was stricken down with that near-death experience of the shakes. Enjoy. Again, happy Friday. Well, I tell you what, man, yeah, I don't know. One of, my one of my daughters wanted some oats. All right, you know how hard it is to fix oats? You take the oats, you put it in a microwave safe bowl, you pour some water in the bowl, throw it in the microwave for two minutes, and the oats are done. That's how hard it is to do oats. One of my daughters wanted some oats. I had to go over there and make the shit because my mother refused to do it. Why? Why? You know, two minutes. That's it. Two minutes in the microwave. And she, but she flat refused to do it. You know, what a, what a bunch of shit. Anyway, crisis averted because dad had to go out in 20 degree weather, risking catching pneumonia and get it done. Right. You know, see, that's, that's the thing that the trolls won't tell you is what I have to do that mom refuses to do or anybody else refuses to do for that matter. I have to end up doing it. And I end up getting bad sick usually because of it. 
you know, but we won't discuss that because that doesn't fit their nice little paradigm, right? Anyway, whatever. Uh, Mike Wills says, I haven't seen you in years. Seems like you haven't changed a bit. It's just like when I went over there to make that damn oats. All right. You take those, you put it in a microwave safe bowl, you pour the water in there, you shove it in the microwave for two minutes and it's fucking done. How hard can that be? Well, it's not. It's not hard. But see, I get frustrated because there's no need for me to, to get out and risk getting pneumonia in 20 fucking degree weather to do that. I should not need to do that. I should not have to risk my health to do a bowl of oats. Well, there you go, folks. That was the dreaded morning of suffering from 20 degree below zero freezing temperature. Yeah, because the temperatures keep changing. Longer you get into the story where he was battling snow and ice to get over the nine yards over to his mother's trailer. What he also fails to mention in that clip was, as we all witnessed watching that hangout this morning, his youngest daughter had come over from his mother's trailer to literally knock on his front door of his trailer because that paranoid motherfucker living out in the sticks of bumfuck Egypt is so fearful that he locks his own children out in sub-zero again later he claims that temperatures all right to tell him we're hungry and grandma wants you to come over and feed us this motherfucker has no clue how many days hours years i would spend on rooftops working on air conditioning or excuse me heating systems that were broken for a customer why because i had a paycheck to earn i had mouths to feed and i had children to raise the morning that i saw this video i was fucking livid and yes i broke out my phone i captured it and i made a video and he flagged it down within 24 hours now let's continue on shall we Father Jay took a comment that I said about my mom refusing to give my kids breakfast. And Father Jay somehow, I don't know how the fuck he did it, but somehow he's managed to spin it around and say that it's my fault that my mother was being a bitch and refused to give my kids breakfast one morning. How now I'm yards away. My mom, my mom's house is is yards away. She's she's over in the double wide. I'm I'm over here in the single wide. There's a, several yards between us, right? At yards in this case, meaning a unit of measurement, not yard in the, as per green grass. We're talking about a unit of measure here. Anyway, I'm here. She's over there. The kids are over there, and she refuses to give my kids breakfast, which. That's horrible. That is a horrible thing for her to do. But yet she did. And my kids will testify that she did. So when Father Jay makes his hate video, though, does he call her out for being a bitch and not giving her grandkids breakfast? No, 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 no. No. He spins it and makes it out like it's my fault that my mother refused to give my kids breakfast one morning. And I, you know, I'm still scratching my head over that one. How can I, somebody who is yards away, influence my mother and make her not give my kids their breakfast? What the fuck is that? I mean, only a troll could fucking come up with that shit, you know? Only a troll could come up with that. Yeah, I mean, you know, so when my mom mistreats my grandkids, it's my fault, guys. According to Father Jay. According to Father Jay, when my mother mistreats her grandkids, it's my fault, you know? What a load of shit. What a load of shit that is. I mean, really. But uh, you you never underestimate the stupidity of trolls and haters, folks. Never underestimate that. Okay, I'm yards away from the incident. Literally. I'm literally yards away. You know, I have to trudge. At that time, I had to trudge through the the ice and snow, you know, to to get over there. And, you know, sub-zero weathers. 
you know, risking getting bad sick. Because, um, <laughs> you know, but because my mom mistreats my grandkids, that's somehow my fault. Good job, Father Jay. It's it's good to see you're on, on the track, man, you know. Of course, that clip came from February 11th, the very next day after he'd flagged down my video censoring my opinions of him. And of course, there you go. You heard it. Braving sub-zero temperatures, trudging through the ice and the snow. Ladies and gentlemen, Clay County, Kentucky had a high of 59 and a low of 29 that day with clear skies no ice no snow no bullshit nothing but the bullshit coming out of his mouth and of course von helton guess what the responsibility as was then as is today as will always be for your children is your responsibility not the responsibility of your 88 year old mother as we all know but let's roll on Shall we? Let's get into this. Minute, weren't, weren't you doing live hangouts during the time that you were supposedly in bed and couldn't get out? No, no, I was not. I know they floated that idea, but sorry, the timeline doesn't match up. Just don't match up. Sorry. Again, Brand, great question. Great point to bring up. Let's, in fact, examine that timeline. That first shot and all these screenshots are going to be the following hangouts that you can pay attention to that date on the lower left-hand corner of the following two weeks that he claimed he was sick, in bed, down with the shakes, just suffering of near-death pneumonia. Near-death pneumonia. He was in bed that entire two-week period. You noticed right there he did two hangouts. He even did a karaoke. Now, how near death could he be when he's doing fucking karaoke? Right there, you've got February 17th. You know, I mean, it's the 19th. It's all the way up to the 24th. There is two solid weeks of the time frame, of the timeline. I don't know. Maybe it was the Mandela effect right there. You know, that he thought he was in bed with the near-death gripping shakes yeah not to mention countless countless days of streaming gaming videos on twitch tv yeah not only was he doing hangouts the entire time he claimed he was sick in bed with the shakes allowing that fruit and food to rot on the floor but he was on twitch tv streaming gameplay i love the smell of ponage in the morning happy fucking friday <laughs> 